What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live in living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability, get a free price quote, and maybe you can have me at your next event. I like to play for the people. If you want to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. <laughs> Today on the program, 10 Things You Need to Know Today for Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. 10 Things You Need to Know Today. Number one, four Minneapolis officers fired. Protests erupt over Floyd's death. The Minneapolis Police Department has fired four officers over the death of a black man, George Floyd, after the officers restrained him. Quote, this is the right call. End quote. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Frey tweeted thousands of people gathered outside a police station to protest after a video surfaced on social media showing one of the officers with his knee on the back of Floyd's neck as he is handcuffed on the ground quote please i can't breathe end quote says floyd who died at a hospital soon after the incident fray earlier offered condolences to the family and called the encounter quote horrible completely and utterly messed up end quote the officers were responding to a call about a forgery in progress Monday night. The FBI is investigating. This is according to the Star Tribune and NBC News. Number two, Twitter fact checks Trump for first time. Twitter on Tuesday put fact check labels on tweets by President Trump for the first time. Twitter said two tweets by Trump over the past 24 hours were, quote, potentially misleading, end quote. One of them falsely suggested that mail-in ballots were fraudulent, and the other referred people to news articles about Trump's unsubstantiated claim. Twitter spokesperson Katie Roseborough said the company had labeled the tweets, quote, to provide additional context around mail-in ballots, end quote. Trump accused Twitter of, quote, stifling free speech, end quote. The company has faced rising criticism for not doing enough to prevent people, including world leaders, from using the site to spread lies and fake news. Social media rival Facebook started a fact check system several years ago. This is according to the Washington Post. Number three, Biden calls Trump a fool for mocking face masks. Former Vice President Joe Biden said Tuesday that President Trump was an, quote, absolute fool, end quote, for sharing a tweet that mocked Biden for wearing a mask during a Memorial Day event. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has recommended that people wear masks to slow the spread of coronavirus. But Trump has opted out of wearing a face covering during his visits to factories, despite these factories requiring masks for the safety of their employees. This is irresponsible, Biden told CNN's Dana Bash, and Trump's refusal to listen to health experts is, quote, costing people's lives, end quote. Presidents, Biden added, quote, are supposed to lead, not engage in folly and be falsely masculine, end quote. This is according to CNN. Number four, stock surge as New York Stock Exchange trading floor reopens. U.S. stocks surged on Tuesday as the floor of the New York Stock Exchange reopened, boosting hopes of an economic recovery from the coronavirus crisis. The NYSE trading floor in Manhattan had been closed for two months. Ahead of the reopening, plexiglass barriers were installed, the number of traders permitted was reduced, and safety rules were put into place, including mandatory masks. The change was mostly symbolic because electronic trading has become increasingly important in recent years. Still, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose by 2.2% to close above 25,000 for the first time since early March. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ gained 1.2% and 0.2% respectively. Futures for the three main U.S. indexes surged further ahead of Wednesday's opening bell. This is according to the Associated Press and CNBC. Number five, Hong Kong riot police surround legislature as protests resume. Hong Kong authorities dispatched hundreds of riot police 
to the semi-autonomous city's legislature as protesters gathered and shouted pro-democracy slogans on Wednesday ahead of a debate on a bill seeking to criminalize disrespect of China's national anthem. The legislation and China's proposed new national security law have sparked the first large street demonstrations in Hong Kong since last year. Activists say the security laws will result in the end of significant local control in Hong Kong, a former British colony returned to Chinese rule in 1997 under a, quote, one country, two systems, end quote, arrangement. Police on Sunday fired tear gas at thousands of protesters who gathered to denounce the security legislation. This is according to Reuters. Number six, Florida, Georgia, court GOP convention after Trump clashes with North Carolina. Two Republican governors, Brian Kemp of Georgia and Ron DeSantis of Florida, on Tuesday asked President Trump to consider moving the August GOP convention to their states. The invitations came after Trump threatened to move his 2020 nominating convention out of North Carolina unless Governor Roy Cooper, a Democrat, guarantees he will ease anti-coronavirus restrictions enough to allow Republicans to fill the arena in Charlotte, where the event is scheduled to be held. Quote, with world-class facilities, restaurants, hotels, and workforce, Georgia would be honored to safely host the Republican National Convention. End quote. Kemp tweeted, quote, we hope you will consider the peach state at real Donald Trump. End quote. Atlanta's Democratic mayor said Kemp's offer was out of sync with the city's reopening plan. This is according to the Associated Press. Number seven, investment firm fires white woman who called police on Blackbird Watcher. Investment management firm Franklin Templeton on Tuesday fired an employee, Amy Cooper, who was shown in a viral video calling police on an African-American bird watcher in New York City's Central Park after he asked her to put her dog on a leash. Miss Cooper apologized to the man, Christian Cooper, no relation, but her employees said it had decided after a review to fire her effective immediately. Quote, we do not tolerate racism of any kind at Franklin Templeton, end quote, the company tweeted. In the video, Amy Cooper approaches the man pulling her dog by the collar and says, quote, I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life, end quote. In the call to the police, she twice repeats that she is being threatened by an, quote, African-American, end quote, man. This is according to NPR. Number eight, report DOJ ends investigation of three senators' stock sales. The Justice Department reportedly is telling lawyers for Republican senators Kelly Loeffler of Georgia and James Inhofe of Oklahoma and Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein of California that it is closing investigations into stock trades they made shortly before the market fell sharply when the coronavirus crisis hit. An inquiry into trades, then Senate Intelligence Committee Chair Richard Burr, Republican North Carolina, made after getting closed-door briefings on the coming outbreak is ongoing, the Wall Street Journal reported, citing people familiar with the matter. The Federal Bureau of Investigation spent two months looking into the trades made by the lawmakers, their spouses, or their investment advisors. All of the senators denied they did anything wrong. Feinstein, Loeffler, and Inhofe said their advisors made the trades without their prior knowledge. This is according to the Wall Street Journal and Market Watch. Number nine, Trump pushes Scarborough conspiracy theory despite Witterer's pleas. President Trump on Tuesday brushed off criticism about his repeated baseless suggestion that MSNBC host Joe Scarborough is tied to the death of one of his former staffers, Lisa Klausudis died in Scarborough's office in 2001 when he was a congressman from Florida, and Trump has repeatedly suggested without evidence that she was murdered. Timothy Klausutis, the former staffer's widower, pleaded with Trump to stop pushing the baseless allegation, saying in a letter that Trump, quote, has taken the memory of my dead wife and perverted it for perceived political gain, end quote. Asked about the letter on Tuesday, Trump still insisted the matter was, quote, suspicious, end quote. Timothy Klausutis called for Twitter to delete Trump's tweets. 
This is according to the Wall Street Journal and the Washington Post. Number 10, J.K. Rowling's new children's book being released free online. Author J.K. Rowling announced that starting Tuesday, she'll be publishing her new children's book, The Ichabog, for free, releasing new chapters online every weekday. Rowling explained that she wrote most of her first draft of this fairy tale in between working on Harry Potter installments and intended to release it after Deathly Hollows, but it, quote, went up into the attic, end quote, after she decided to take a break from children's books. Kids can also submit illustrations as they read each installment. All of Rowling's author's royalties from the book will go to COVID-19 relief. She said, Rowling noted the book isn't a Harry Potter spinoff. New chapters of the Ichabog are to be published through July 10th. This is according to the New York Times. That's 10 things you need to know today for Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Thank you for listening. This has been What Makes You Smarter. I hope everybody out there is doing reasonably well. Drop me some comments. Let me know what you're up to. Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. That's it for me. It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite. Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag, What Makes You Famous. Call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys thank you for listening